Good morning. Hello, this is Dr. Prem Kumar, Professor from Pulaya Engineering College in Technology. We'll have a discussion on database management system. Today, the topics to be discussed are introduction, ER diagrams, and relational model. DBMS is uh, a collection of interrelated data and set of programs to access the data. To store the data comfortably, to organize the data and to fix the data comfortably, we make use of DBMS, that is database management system. The various DBMS applications are enterprise information system, that is sales, accounting, human resource management, manufacturing, online retails, banking and finance, university applications, airline reservations, telecommunications, etc. Purpose of database system. In regular conventional systems, there are many flaws, there are some problems. The problems like data redundancy and inconsistency, difficulty in accessing data, data isolation, integrity problems, atomicity problems, concurrent access anomalies, and security problems. You can overcome all these problems in DBMS. Data models. The data models provides the way to describe the design of the data at the physical, logical and view level. How the data is being designed is being explained by the data models. One of the best model is a relational model. In relational model, you will be having the tables. The data is being represented in the, in the form of rows and columns and the different tables are being related with relations. ER model, that is entity relationship model. In this data model, we use the collection of basic objects called entities. The entities are being represented in the form of a rectangles. And the relation among the, among the two entities are being represented in the form of a diamond, that is relationship set. That is, the entity sets are being related with each other with the help of relationship set. And every entity is being identified with the help of attributes. The attributes are depicted in the form of elliptical circles. So the attributes can be depicted with entities and sometimes the attributes can also be given to relationship sets. Object based data model. It is generally, this model is generally used for object oriented programming like C++, Java, .NET, etc. In this, the pictorial representation it contains the three parts. The first section we show the name of the uh, class, the se second section we show the data members and the third the methods which are used. So the three sections comprises the class name, the next section contains the data members and the third section contains the methods which works on the data members. And uh, an object is related to another object. It is nothing but it is an extension of ER model. Semi-structured data model. And coming to this, the different records will be having different attributes. In general, in other models, all the records will be comprising the same attributes, but here it varies. Some records will have some attributes and some other records will be having different attributes. And to show this variation, we go with the semi-structured data model. The different sets with different attributes. XML that is uh, extensible markup language is the best example to depict uh, the semi-structured data model. Database users and coming to the database users they can be classified as naive users who knows nothing, application programmers who are professionals and who can write the application programs, sophisticated users who can interact with the system without writing programs and just by invoking the query processors they can invoke, they are called sophisticated users and some specialized users. They are sophisticated and they use the database for non-traditional purpose. For a special purpose they use, they are called as specialized users. Among the regular users, you will be having one administrator, he is called as a database administrator. The key responsibilities of database administrators are schema definition, he will define the schema, how to store the data, how to organize the data. Storage structure and access method definition, how to access the data from the database. Schema and physical organization modifications. So he is a responsible person for creation of the schema, 
uh, and uh, the physical modifications whatever required in the database granting of authorizations to the data accessing who should uh, access what type of data this uh, authorizations are being granted by database administrator and routine maintenance backup recovery periodical backup and ensuring the performance and all these regular activities are being taken care of by a person called as a database administrator entities attributes and entity sets any object can be represented in the form of entity and the group of entities becomes an entity set the entities are always represented in the form of a rectangles the different entities are connected with a diamond symbol which is called as relationship set the entities are identified by with the properties which are called as an attributes the attributes are represented in the elliptical shapes they are called attributes so any database and its relations can be depicted with the help of er diagrams that is entity relationship diagrams er diagrams thank you everyone for listening to me thank you